Hey guys, and welcome back to another Know Your Mods. I'm your host, Ron Hay. Today on this extremely hot day here in, uh, on August in California Mod Bargains, I actually, we get to work on something about cooling. And we're gonna talk about Wagner tuning. I got to visit these guys um, out in a little, bit of, a little bit away from Berlin in Germany um, where their stuff is being made. It was probably one of the most fascinating tours I've ever done in terms of products, in terms of understanding, and we're gonna go into it. We're gonna go into intercoolers, is bigger better? We're gonna answer that question, is bigger better? And we're gonna go into what makes Wagner so special. So let's just jump into, first of all, what are intercoolers and what are their purposes? So intercoolers, they're used on turbos or supercharged cars. What it's gonna do is it's basically gonna cool down that air from coming from the intake and create a uh, higher density into the engine, creating more performance, better, uh, more horsepower, better throttle response, and again, more power and more consistency. So we're not putting more strain on the vehicle, we're actually just making it more efficient. So it's similar in a way that a radiator works in cooling down a car, right? Because it's using the air here and the surfaces, but for the engine and gaining horsepower. So that's the basics of it. We're done with the boring stuff. Let's jump into is bigger better. Intercoolers in general, uh, when they're being advertised by a lot of companies, there are a lot of them in the aftermarket scene. Um, and I'm gonna tell you first off, I was the first person who thought the same on, in this method that, oh, the bigger the intercooler, the better it is. And more surface area, that means it's gonna cool more, it's gonna grab more, and that's, that makes it better. That's all we need, we just need it to be bigger. Uh, turns out I was way off, and um, we're gonna go into that. We're gonna talk about why that is, why I was so off on that. So let's talk about first two different technologies that are available in, in intercoolers. One is the basics that we see is called a bar and plate. So most of your eBay products, the cheaper products are always gonna be that bar and plate. And why is that? That's gonna be the main center core area here. This section here is what we call the core. So bar and plate is the standard. It's what's used on all the vehicles um, from your manufacturers and so forth. It's just for easy mass production, it's a lot easier. It's inexpensive. Uh, it's an inexpensive method and it's inexpensive to make. Um, it's not the best. Why? Um, there was a newer technology that was developed called tube and fin. So tube and fin has the same ability in terms of performance numbers or sometimes even higher. But the difference with tube and fin is you now, you don't have the standardized, because cores are different every size. You have to make it into a mold for the tube and fin. So the cost to make it is a lot higher. So most people are not gonna do it. But the reason the tube and fin is amazing is that it's actually lighter weight. And lighter weight, and actually allows more airflow through. We only have so much space on the front of our car, so why would we care? Well, if we have the intercooler up in the front grabbing air, we also need that air to continue over to the, to the radiator to cool that section down or move on to the engine and cool that section down. We want to use as much cold air as we can, right? So a tube and fin version is the highest quality. It's what's used in racing. And tube and fin is also, also a lot lighter. I, I don't remember the exact number off the top of my head. We'll get that number for you guys. But um, we're talking about significantly lighter. So let's go talk more about what other features are there in an intercooler. So that's, there's always the main core here. And what else is there that's important? Well, there's the end tanks, this section here. This is where it connects onto. Now, a lot of stuff that you buy on eBay or some other brands, it's just they'll put on an extra hose and then it goes on there. Wagner uses the OEM clamps. Everything goes right into the OEM fitment. That's very important. That makes it, the install a lot easier. Also, when the pressure is coming into there, there's a lot of pressure. It's not gonna snap off. It's also designed to hold on. It has a clamp, a better clamping area. The other thing about end tanks I noticed with Wagner, they will actually create channels inside there to create more flow into the core. So, You'll see that on some of their designs, they'll actually have like little fins in there um, because they've tested it. Sometimes it's completely unnecessary and they're like, well, why should we do that if it's unnecessary? So one of the big things with them is the engineering. So again, we're gonna figure out why is bigger not better according to what I've seen through Wagner. 
So next is we have all this additional better cooling air. We think that, okay, we're gonna have more horsepower. And that's typically what we end up seeing. And most of the products that you end up seeing, you're gonna see, okay, it produces more horsepower. There's a huge other factor that's being lost here. It's a pressure. The pressure that's being um, brought back, how much pressure are you creating? If you're creating this huge intercooler, what about the pressure on it that you're creating? Uh, that is massive. Why does that affect the vehicle? One is the throttle response. The car is designed for a certain type of throttle response, a certain type of pressure that goes into it. Next is your tuning. If you're gonna have your tuning done, it's, and your mass airflow sensor, and all these things, all these components that are working together, you need the pressure to be at the right level. I'm gonna say this, it's gonna be a little bit uh, harsh. Just about the majority of intercoolers that are out there in this marketplace, do not show this, do not work on their pressure. They just go into that big horsepower. That's pretty controversial because they're all gonna tell you it's a great product. Um, that, that's a big one. And it, I, I say that um, in the nicest way because I want them to all be better products. But Wagner um, does that, they show the results, they show their testing data. Uh, they are one of the few that does. There's a couple other companies that do show their testing data, but a lot of people do not show their testing data. And you see these on the forums or in Facebook groups or people talking about it. You know, one color is black, one color is, it might look nicer, it might be fancier, but uh, the engineering behind it is, what's, is what we're gonna go into. So we have tube and fin, we have bar and plate. So Wagner does both. They make a tube and fin version and they make a, a bar and plate. Obviously, tube and fin is a lot more expensive because you have to make a mold for it. You've got the end tanks, okay. Now, are the cores the same? No, they're not. So a lot of, a lot of like the eBay companies, there's a lot of stuff made out in China. They're all the same cores. Um, they're all the same exact design. Um, the exact same design. Some designs are years and years of the same design. And then some of them are like using a product called Setrab. Setrab is a very well known. Um, I used to use it a long time ago. Um, in uh, some of my cars, they used at least their core and you have another company, Company X, they add their end tanks on top of their core and then they have a product. Well, Setrab is great and it was awesome, but they don't go into the next levels of what Wagner is doing here. So it's all the same core and it's just a bar and plate again. So Wagner goes to this next level where they're actually changing the interior fin design per each application for every vehicle. That means that every vehicle is different. Every vehicle size has to be different. So we're not cutting up the bumpers, the fitment is right. Installs a lot quicker with Wagner, by the way. It's just a direct OEM. And everything in there is changed accordingly for the best and highest performance. I've never seen engineering to this level. We're talking about 500 and something variations that they have um, within the internal core. I don't think any other intercooler in the market has that many um, differences, any other manufacturer. So they've concentrated on gen engineering. Flow, flow, engineering, and the horsepower obviously is there, but they're not gonna make something that's not there. And I'll give you guys a little story about it. Um, uh, one of the cars that we obviously cater towards is the BMW M4, M3, M4. And there's a heat exchanger and for it, and there's been a lot of companies releasing products. And a lot of them are, they, they work, but I had a conversation with um, Karsten Wagner, the owner of Wagner Tuning, and I had a conversation with him. I was like, hey, you know what? This is a huge market. We all, everybody's looking for a product and some products are coming out to the market. This is back then. And he's like, you know what? I've already taken it apart. We've tested it. Um, BMW's done a, an amazing job. Their engineering for the first time ever is phenomenal. Okay. Um, I just don't see a point in making it. Um, it's, it's so good as the way it is. I had to respect that, obviously. And then I said, you know what? We still want more performance. There's a lot of guys who are pushing more horsepower that we still want more performance, better cooling. Uh, we want our cars to be more reliable. And on the dyno, we've seen the numbers. We see huge numbers drops. So I'm telling him, hey, we really need this product. He's like, okay. In order for me to do this, Tube and Finn, he's, he's been doing engineering for quite some time. He's like, we are gonna go and have to invest into a whole new system. And they did. 
He's like, their fins are so much smaller and so much more detailed. We're gonna go to one step beyond it. Well, I think they just recently released it. I mean, this is August 2019 when this video is being shot. Uh, the M4, M3 has been around for quite some time. Uh, as you can imagine, I think it took three to four years of development just to get their M4 system, which has just been recently released. So that just shows you the engineering and the point of what they're doing. Um, I had a great time when I got to visit them. Uh, they were all very much gearheads, engineers. Uh, you can see that everything's welded um, to, a, to an extreme level. It's being used in competition. And what's funny to me is uh, here in the US, and this is why we do know your mods, here in the US, we don't even know this brand. But in Europe, they're the number one performance brand, um, especially in intercoolers. I mean, that's, they are definitive. And when they have like European shows like a SEMA and all these other things, the crowds that join up on, over there are, are massive. And to think about it, they, this company has grown significantly. They opened up in 2002 in, in Germany. Uh, they have a facility here in the US, um, up, up north in Northern California. And they just recently uh, are now opening a huge expansion in Texas uh, where things usually bigger is better. Maybe they'll show that um, again back to that point. Maybe they'll show Texas something else. But uh, they're doing a phenomenal job. So Wagner, Wagner really understands it. They, they give you an extended two year warranty. They, uh, on here, they'll have like the genuine product that you can log in with your phone. You can, you can register it, you can see it. They're working on um, CarBO numbers, I know. Uh, they're getting exemptions. They're, they're a very proactive company. They are also, they're very much on the cusp of racing. They're very much into engineering and they won't make something that's not gonna, not gonna function and create that much better of a product. So phenomenal stuff. Um, if you guys wanna check it out, there was the tour that I did um, with them. You guys can check that out. Um, honestly, if you like Know Your Mod videos and you like other videos that we're doing, um, it would be a great service to us if you can please subscribe. Uh, give it a thumb up if you like it. Um, it means the world to us. It's how we're gonna continue to make these videos and educate you guys and show you why we're bringing out certain products to the market, um, why we were one of the first to bring this out. And um, we will can try to continue to educate you guys. Again, I appreciate you guys. Make some comments, um, give me your feedback. I'll be happy to jump in there and respond as I usually do. Thanks again, guys. The huge difference between us and other manufacturers is that we are a developer. Yeah. We are developing, testing, prototyping everything in-house here and that makes a huge difference. So we will, or we engineer each intercooler for the needs of every single car. So, and that's the thing here that makes so much work and that yeah. makes so much time here. Really cool.